I discovered uh, forex analysis are very easy if you follow the following steps. Whenever you are analyzing the chart, you need to get the bigger picture. So today I want to show you with GBP and SD, and we need to analyze step by step so that you can know at least what to do, uh, how to go about it. And then I'll tell you what GBP and SD will do, uh, the current market of GBP and SD. So by the end of this video, first you'll understand the steps for you analyzing any market, and then I'll give you a hands up of what you're expecting on GBPNSD. So um, when you open your, your chart, mostly people who open on the weekly chart, because maybe you're analyzing on Saturday and you're looking at the weekly chart, the first thing that you will notice is a support. So you will notice a support that has been broken. So you can see, uh, you might when you find this support like this and you have not zoomed, you might not know if that support has broken. So this is our support. So what you do is you zoom in so that you can be able to see what is happening. You zoom in. So you'll take you'll take your zooming tool and let's zoom in. You can see the support has been broken. So if you fail to zoom in, you might think that support did not break. So the support broke. You can see we have a red candle that broke. So that is our support. And the next thing that you need to understand is that, yes, we know support has broken on the weekly, but the, the first question is, is this support the same uh, on the monthly? Because I've told you guys that I will, I will share with you support video. And I think that's the next video I will do after this. Uh, this is lesson 33. So let's, 34, this is lesson 34. So, Maybe lesson 35, we'll talk now more advanced uh, things about support. So this support has been broken. And because uh, I cannot tell really if the character is changing from uptrend to downtrend. So without monthly time frame, I'm lost. I don't know what is happening here. If I try to squeeze my chart, squeeze my chart to see if I have a pattern, you can see I have this double top. Can you see this double top? I have this double top. The question is, is this double top also available on the monthly? Why? We don't want to trade a pattern that is still on the monthly and we are hoping all the market will go down. So let's go to monthly quickly and check what is happening on. So you can see it's still available on the monthly. And the funny thing on the monthly, it's not even a double top, it's a triple top. You can see we have three attempts. So we have first attempt, that is our first attempt. We have our second attempt and we have our third attempt. This is our third attempt. So the market has attempted that resistance three times. And this means that whenever the market attempts are as a, a place three times, the chances are it can now get rejected forever. Like the market can have an, uh, a very, very strong downtrend or the market can buy. So the three is just to signify that yes, the resistance is being rejected, but it is becoming weaker. So the buyers, if they attempt again, they can come and break it. And another thing is, is suggesting, this is the last time they are coming to test that area. So according to, day, to monthly, we don't have a conclusion of the market of the forex pattern because the forex pattern is a triple top. I don't trade triple top for me. I, I trade double tops. Why? Because they seem easy and they seem they are understandable. When you talk of market structure, we can't really say it's an uptrend. We can't really say it's a downtrend. We will put it as a ranging. So the market has been ranging for a very long time. You can see we can put it as a ranging market so our market structure is more ranging you can see here the market ranged very very uh for a very long time when we come to price action the price action is what it's telling us that this market might sell uh, by the time the month is closing so you can see this candle this candle it's a very bearish angle bearish engulfing candle so we have a very bearish engulfing candle and because we have a we have a red this is a red candle followed by green automatically we have a support so support of monthly it's a bit higher than that support of daily so when monthly and daily has the support you need to pay attention on that support so what that means is that yes you have support on monthly 
yes, you have bearish and gaff on monthly, but monthly is not suggesting anything. Why? Because I have told you, if a resistance is attempted so many times, it can break through or it can fail to go back and sell completely. So we have to, to focus on the weekly uh, time frame. So when we focus on the weekly time frame, we can see for sure that that support was broken. So the question is, do you sell? You remember the video I've just uploaded, it was about the mistakes I did. So for me, anytime a support would break, I knew it was coming back to this support area, either to create a double bottom. For me, that's how I used to trade. So if I didn't learn what I know now, I would have entered a sell or I'll be looking for a sell. So let's go to daily and see what we have. So on the daily, again, you can see the support has been broken. The support has been broken and we have a double top. And you see this double top. So we have a double top here. And this double top, we want to see what is happening with the half. Have they broke half? And you see that as small as it is, it might sound small, but it works. So the market has re rejected half. That this means we cannot even sell. Why? Because we sell, we only sell if half is broken. Now you have understood why sometimes the market is suggesting a sell, but when you go to daily, you get a pattern to work with. Yes, weekly you're saying I sell. Yes, monthly you gave me a bearish angle, but is it? Does daily is is daily telling me the same thing, or will I enter and then I get, I get um, a drawdown or I blow the account? So you need to be very careful. More so when now you're going to lower time frame for confirmation. So we cannot sell this trade. Now I know we cannot sell, but previously I would be in a sell. So the market breaks the half, and guess what comes to the neckline? This is the neckline. But they have activated a new pattern. Can you see? We have a double bottom. So there are many times, this is a lesson again I'll do. There are many times a double top changes, double top changes to be a double bottom. I've seen that quite a few times. Um, so it has changed, it has changed from a double top to a double bottom. Now remember, everyone is thinking the market is gonna the market is gonna sell because of the breaking of support on monthly, bearish engulf on the monthly, weekly, breaking support, daily breaking support. But now we are not relying on those things. You need to block your mind from uh, all those information. What you need to focus is the current trade, the current Forex chart. What is it doing? The current Forex chart is this double bottom. So you come here and you measure half and you say, at the end of the day, the market is neither supporting a buy or a sell. According to daily, whatever daily tells me, that's what I'll do. So if this is a double bottom, now this one becomes a what? Becomes the neckline. So this becomes the neckline, guys. So I have the neckline and then I measure half, I've measured half. So I'm thinking if half is broken, for me, I will enter up to the neckline. But you see, if you don't want to trade when the market is at this zone, because what is this? This has created a what? What do you think this has created? It has created a channel. So this one has created a channel and you're thinking if they have created a channel, for me, I want to trade if the channel is broken to be safe. Because according to other time frame, sell is supported. But why is it finding it difficult to break through? So you come and measure everything. You measure and say, I will enter. Either have to break to TP1 or this market to do what? To break the channel so that we can. And we can buy. So as you're waiting, the market gives you a spinning top 
and then they break, they break the half. So here, you are in decision of, do I buy up to neckline or do I wait the neckline to be broken? In this case, if you find a trade like this, uh, for me, what I can tell you is that buy, but only hold that trade for one day. If it, if it reaches, let's say you buy on Monday and the money is, Monday is over here in Tuesday, just cancel that trade. Because if you are buying using daily time frame, you need to hold only on daily time frame. So yes, you come here and buy, but we have promised ourselves this is not a swing trade. You cannot swing a trade that is inside a channel. So we want the market to at least hit that area. So that's how many pips? That's 137 pips. So that's what we want. So let's see what happened after, after that. So the market hit TP, almost hitting TP. And now we are anticipating for what? We are anticipating for that half to be, the neckline to be broken and they break that neckline. Now question guys is, when they break this neckline, it's still a channel. So we have a channel and we have a double bottom. So we had how many patterns? I want to, I want to take you slowly. I want to take you slowly. If you get this, you get it. So how many patterns do we have? We got pattern one. This is P1. And then double top was P1, double bottom was P2. And then ranging was, ranging is P3. And you see, let's see if they will accomplish ranging P3, pattern three. You see now, if the market breaks like that, you're thinking, because we're in pattern three, I'm safe. There's no way they can give me all those patterns and they don't have an agenda of buying this market. So you like 123, it's not a bad bit. And I'll hold it for a day. So you hold that trade, nothing happens. You hold again. Uh, let's see, let's see if the TP was hit. The TP was not hit. You hold again and the TP was hit. The question is, why are you holding this trade for more than two, three days and you're not exiting like the other? It's because we are now dealing pattern three. I, I told you, once pattern three gives itself out, you can hold. Why? The buyers and the market makers know that is the last pattern that we are achieving. And if you can check what has happened, the market has headed up to TP4 is headed up to TP4. That's where the market is. It's headed up to TP4. But the question is, will it reach up to that take profit? Will it reach that to, to, that, um, to the last zone? So for us, we can't do anything because weekly, they told us they have broke support, but they have bought for three weeks. Daily, they gave us three patterns that we are able to trade with. Four hour is what now? give us uh, an idea of what can happen. So yes, we know the market is about to complete, but you can see where the market is about to complete, we have a set resistance area. So that is the zone that we are hoping this market will come to. And we start our pattern now from pattern one. So we'll have pattern one, pattern two. Once you hit pattern three, you already know for sure that that market is selling or buying. So the market can approach. So I'm a, this is current market. I'm trying to analyze current market. The market can approach and target and uh, hit activate double top or the first double top, or it can come and hit the second double top. The best thing, the reason why even we are looking at this double top is because this double top, we need to first identify are there this double top on the daily. We have them on the daily. So you go back to the daily. Do you have the double tops on the daily? No. Are they there on the weekly? No. So the only thing now that we can trade GBP uh, NSD 
is using for our time frame. So I want you to add GBPNSD on your watch list. If it happens to activate these two area, WhatsApp me or inbox me in any may email, whatever, and tell me or comment down below, come back to this video and say it has activated why. If this is what we get, you can see where the neckline is. These are so many pips if this market decides to go down. Thank you so much, guys. That's how you analyze step by step, and that's the direction of GBP and SD. So you need to add it on your watch list, watch list and observe it until it happens. All the best, guys, and I love you so much.